What's up, beautiful people? It's Sindarima. Welcome to the channel. Today, we have this interesting video and a side to desperate modern women want to know why most men are avoiding relationship. Hmm. Oh, awesome. Interesting. I'm excited to check this one out. Let's check it out. This attractive guy who I was flirting with, he was flirting with me also. And I thought, oh my God, this is it. Not really. Anyway, he came over to my table and said, unfortunately, he was leaving. And I said, I don't normally do this, but could I have your number? To which he responded, if you don't normally do this, maybe don't start now. And I was like, what? Okay, um, so you don't want me to have your number? <laughs> and he said that he was trying to be a gentleman. And I was like, okay and just ran off what the fuck what i've never asked a man for his number before and i don't go out there and expect men to give me their number but we were flirting we were being really flirt why did he come over and say i'm not gonna think of i'm not giving it any more energy i just wanted to share it because i'm never asking a man for his number ever again maybe he was not flirting he might have just been being himself but she thought he was flirting with her because she liked him this ultimate chad turned her down Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's video we gonna see modern women want to know why most men are avoiding relationship. Let's start. You wanted equality and now you're complaining that they don't want to be in a relationship with you. Equality also means the same. And since these men are not gay, why would they want to be in a relationship with another man? So you got your equality and now they don't want to be in a relationship with you because you bring nothing to the table. You're basically men. They use you for one thing now. Of course they do, because that's what makes them not gay. But everything else, you're just like a guy. So they don't want to be in a relationship with a guy, otherwise they would be gay. And since they're not, they don't want to be in a relationship with you. You're not respectful, you don't give them peace. Maybe try being kind and sweet um. and nice and don't bring drama into their lives. Sure. And don't try to change them, accept them for who they are and believe in them. And then they'll want to be in a relationship with you. It's not the fact that they don't want to be in relationships. They just don't want to be in a relationship with you. There's a difference. You hear that? I like how she's going about it. And she's right. Men don't want a partner who brings the same things to the relationship as they do. So the fact that modern women don't understand the strength of femininity is sad. If they did, they would never want to be men again. What did they think would happen? What made them think that men want a partner who will always be going up against them? She also talked about something very important. Men aren't avoiding all women. They are only staying away from one group because other people are still getting married. There is a group of women who are happy with being women and are ready to work together with their partner. And those women are getting married. But the strong and independent women are having a hard time finding men to date or marry. I am absolutely... True, sister didn't lie. And the narrator over here did not lie. Like, come on many ladies come up here to say oh they met a guy but this guy don't um, want to be in the relationship his answer is he doesn't want to be in a relationship with you not that he doesn't want to be in a relationship and also like what she said men don't want to be in a relationship with a man if he's a straight man he doesn't want to be in a relationship with a man because obviously if you're you expect a man and a woman to be in a relationship but when you as a female or you as the woman you are the strong independent woman and you're more than likely the man he is also the man that is more like him being in a relationship with another man is that simple i mean me strong independent woman you don't need a man because you are the man that is sad right but that's just the truth it's a sad truth sad reality but that is the truth like i said many women get married so obviously honestly many women don't just don't want to put in the work they just want to go into the relationship and just be there remain there and not put in the work and you forget that for relationship you have to put in the work to make it work just like what the other lady was out here talking about oh she was flirting with a guy and asking for the guy's number and the guy was well, don't start what you can finish exactly if you start now continue to maintain with that attitude to maintain it because many ladies have, when they flirt they be like oh i'm not usually the one that will ask for a guy's number first but you did it anyways so if you're gonna be pursuing him 
maintain it to continue to pursue him because not when you already now have him then you now relax and be like uh i got him now so he should do the work girl don't start where you can't finish but uh, yeah let's go on great i am absolutely convinced that men don't actually want relationships like men want their lives as is and guess what you'd be a hundred percent correct <laughs> in assuming that because we're done we're walking away you see we've adopted what women have been preaching for the last 50 years mm. we don't need women we can take care of ourselves there's nothing to be gained by being in a relationship so after 50 years of hearing that used against us now we've adopted it and all of a sudden you're upset about it i'm not sure why we're just simply following your lead mm. you got what you wanted exactly let's enjoy it this is because you've been telling men for years that you don't need them men are getting used to being alone and adapting this shouldn't be the case but men didn't seem to have a choice mm -hmm. we all know that women can still make things better they shouldn't say they don't need men to begin with exactly. it is very helpful we must work together mm -hmm. such an idiot the sweetest guy just approached me in Woolworth. It's a Monday morning, doing my grocery shopping to do my juicing. And he came up to me and he goes, excuse me, miss, I just wanted to stop you and tell you that you were so beautiful and I would love to get your number to take you out. And my instant reaction was, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, I have a boyfriend. Which is not true. I don't know why I said that. I'm actually kicking myself saying I have I do not have a boyfriend I'm not talking to anyone but my like instant reaction because no one's ever done that to me before I like froze and was like I'm so sorry I have a boyfriend and he's like oh that's really sad but like you never know if you don't try and I'm like yeah I really admire you for like coming up and talking like thank you so much have a beautiful day and he's like you too miss like all the best why did I tell him I had a boyfriend when I don't? Ugh. What is this is why I'm single. This is why I'm single. I thought this was the funniest because she wanted the guy who approached her, but she was so set on turning down men that she turned down the guy she really wanted. As a wise man once said, may he rest in peace. <laughs> no, no, let me get this straight. Let me just line this up, make sure I have this right. So you do something shitty to me and you break my trust and break my heart and now i don't get to have you anymore i have to live my life without you because i'm supposed to have self-respect oh my goodness <laughs> i don't need self-respect that bad i don't this is stupid. Oh my. Healing is stupid. Yes, of course, that's how things work when someone cheats on you and then moves on. It means you can't have them because they no longer want you, and pleading with them to take you back won't help. I feel like a lot of men have a good... Wait, let's even talk about the other lady for a moment. She met a guy that she's admiring. They were both admiring each other and things going on. He came up to you to ask for your phone number then you lie to say you have a boyfriend when you don't have a boyfriend. Like, what in the name of craziness is this? Well, kudos to the guy because you just saved him from so, some level of craziness. Like, what is what in the name is this? Talking about this one. So, you're saying you don't want self -res Oh, my God. I just want to believe that this is a joke. Yes. Oh my God, let's go on. I feel like a lot of men have a good reason for yeah. for avoiding marriage today. I love it. And so even and even um, you can even say even cohabitation. Like a woman can seize your assets even if you're just living together. Even so much sense. It's in certain states, and I'll say it varies from state to state. I know the chat, but yeah. but it's like if she leaves her stuff at your apartment for like a period of three months, she can literally seize your assets. This is the harsh truth. This is one of many things that are causing this problem at the moment. Men are doing everything they can to keep their jobs because they have lost them many times before. This really did happen to me. To be honest, I had no idea what was going on. Right on. It's not like the milk is expensive, so why buy the cow? When two people get married, they are together for life. Mm. What is it here in 2023? You 
for women to know. Dear women of 2023, here's what we'd like for you to know as men to women. That is our right to be natural. Mm. Okay. Damn, all right now. I mean, because you never know what you're getting under all the makeup, mm -hmm. the weave, <laughs> the BBLs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then this independent stuff. And I hate to go there, but I'm going to go there. Because this is men edition, right? Edition. <laughs> you all don't got so independent. Mm. And I'm hoping I don't get off the topic that you really don't even need us that much anymore. True. And I'll put a quota right in there where you, everybody know about the rose, right? <laughs> the rose. The rose. Everybody know about the rose, right? Men keep talking, but it looks like women today aren't paying attention. They don't listen to what we say about what we value or what we like. How many times do we need to say no to those things? Do they think that when we're looking for a wife, we care more about B or a beautiful face? One more very important thing he said had to do with strong, independent women. Mm -hmm. We all know that this way of thinking makes men want to stay away from them. True. So people are always like, oh my gosh, you tell you, you're so confident. I wish I had your confidence. I'm delusional. The key to my confidence is that it's rooted in delusion. Hear me out. When I walk into a room, you can't convince me everyone's not staring at me. Why? Because I feel like I'm an attractive woman. And if I see an attractive woman walk into a room, I'm going to stare at her. Logic. Another example, relationships whom girls are like, or my friends are like, what if he leaves you for another woman? He won't. The day a man leaves me is not because he left me for another woman. It's because he belongs in a mental institution. Okay? That's the only logical explanation for that. A wheel stopped turning. In addition to that, when I'm dancing, I give Meg the Stallion a run for her money every time. You can't convince me otherwise. Delusion. That's all you need for confidence. That's why she said it. <laughs> Women are pretty and they call each other beautiful. Still, a man should go to jail or prison if he cheats on her with another attractive woman. However, if the other woman he cheated on her with is also pretty, it shouldn't matter, right? She has lost her sense of reason and is only deluded. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to our channel if you liked the video. It will keep me going and make sure you don't miss my daily video. Did she just say that she's not confident she's just living in delusion oh my goodness finally most of these ladies are waking up or oh, this is just a skit or something that i don't understand really but it's interesting that a woman is admitting and saying this that they live in delusion now let's even talk about the other or part where the man was talking about um, BBL, strong independent woman, at, um, natural and all of that. Many women forget that doing all of those things, the BBL and stuff, is not what's going to keep a man. But people think that, oh, because um, someone you, um, is doing this and is working for them, then therefore that is what is going to keep their relationship. No, it is not. Fun fact is, most men don't even know the difference. So you do all of those things, it's not going to change anything. And I don't even understand how many ladies will say, oh, they want to do this, they want to do that, they want to do this to keep a man. I understand that many, many women are saying, oh, they are doing it for themselves because they want to look good. Girl, keep <laughs> stop lying. Let's just be honest and be truthful for, to ourselves for a moment. You know who you're doing it for and you know the reason why you're doing it for. Not for yourself to look good. Not because someone else has done it because it's looking good. But you know the reason. So people should stop it. And exactly what he said. Many, many women have come with the agenda that they don't need a man. So the miss strong, independent woman obviously don't need a man. And that is just the truth. And when you constantly keep telling men you don't need a man, you don't need a man. What do you expect them to do? Do you expect them to come running and chasing after you? Of course, no. They'll give you what you want and you stay and remain and enjoy what what you asked for. It's just that simple. But yeah, this was interesting. Uh, all the clips put together. I'm sure tons of people have got different opinion regarding this. And I would really love your honest contribution to this. You can share all the useful information you think might be really helpful. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and all of that stuff. And until next time, see you in the next video.